Hi everybody, it's Gina and thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I actually went to the Brass Armadillo and picked up some things and it's an antique um, store. Happened to find a whole bag of lace trims and I only paid five dollars for it so I was thrilled. I was thrilled. I couldn't pass it up. I said oh my goodness this is a mound of them. <laughs> So I was very excited to find this, and there's multiple sizes, thin, wide, little little pieces, and whether or not they're you know extremely vintage or not, I'm not sure. I'll have to go through them. See, some are shorter than others, you know, just bits, and uh, maybe make a snippet roll. So let me put those aside, and then. I came across some uh, doilies, some hand crochet doilies. Uh, this one is actually a rectangular sized one. And um, if you can see how it has like, you know, the rounded corners and it's been coffee dyed. So there's that one. And then I found a pretty little white one. It has some coloring, discolor on the edges. I kind of like that. I use these in my projects. Um, this actually is um, a little, you know, more scalloped edged uh, doily, two pack. This one has some staining uh, in the center, you know, some discoloration. Love that. And here's a, a newer piece. It looks like a, a white oval bat, uh, Battenberg lace piece, you know. So that one's more of a newer find. Uh, but I still love it. And then this one um, has some staining on it and it's also been coffee dyed. So those are the laces and the doilies that I had found. And then I found some very old vintage uh, pictures. This one and they're basically um, postcards. Excuse me, not pictures, postcards. So this is of the pink lady, and I just love that. I couldn't find uh, the blue boy to go with, but uh, there's a blue boy that goes um, pretty much with the pink lady. So I loved, I loved that. Uh, and even the back is old. <laughs> so, love those. Here's one of a scene, and it's a Ben Venue and Trocious Hotel. And it's an old uh, postcard. I can't even tell the year, but loved it. And this one um, has a scene of swans. And I just love the swans with the big tree over the water. That was a lot of fun to, to find, to go through all of these, to pick the ones I wanted. This one I loved because it reminded me of like a perfume label or a seed label. Red Carnation Affection. Isn't that beautiful? It says, take red carnations, dear, from me, and let them tell my love for thee. It was just very sweet. This one has writing, um, you know, of a friend to a friend. So I loved that, even with the stamp, and had been through um, the post. This one um, is in a plastic. Um, I hope you can see that. I'm not sure that glare. So it's also another uh, scene uh, with florals and, and also water. And it has writing on the back with a stamp that's going through the post. This one is the Crane Beach Barbados. So I thought that was really nice. You see the palm trees up over the ocean and writing on the back. But it looks like someone removed the uh, post. Uh, here we are with um, azaleas, flowers in the old south in Florida. So there's discoloration. It's uh, really vintage looking writing as well as, um, you know, it's been stamped. Salt River, Arizona. I live in Arizona, so I thought that was really uh, an interesting find too. Especially it being, you know, pretty vintage with the water marks. Looks like it's gone through a flood. Um, this one is State Highway uh, near Horseshoe Canyon in uh, Starved Rock State Park, Illinois. 
So I thought that was really a beautiful scene, uh, driving up a country road. And uh, so I snapped that one as well. Love the vintage look to it. This one is um, sand dunes in or along the California coast. So I thought that was really pretty. Very vintage, it's yellowed and um, also aged. And here we are with um, Golden California Poppies. So that really drew my attention. I just thought that was such a beautiful card. Yeah, I don't know. No, nothing on the back. This one I loved as well. Uh, looks like aspens. Aspens are uh, one of my favorite trees. Um, so I just love the gold and you know the wood, the white uh, bark, and then driving up the beautiful path. No writing. And this one um, <laughs> I bought for a sentimental reason. This is Lombard Street in San Francisco. Um, my husband and I went for a trip, drove down that street, and uh, you know, just for kicks, and it was fun. <laughs> so it is the crookedest street in the world. It's in San Francisco. A sight to see, let me just say. And uh, this one it was a black and white uh, vintage scene in a park in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. Just loved the bridge going over the, the water with everything being frozen. And it looks like a real picture to me, but it is a postcard. Uh, this one is um, sepia, and um, it is a vision of an old church. It's called Spel Spelthurst Church. So I love that. That was just really beautiful, I thought. And that's a postcard. And this is uh, by Judges Limited Hastings, England. So that's not even local. So those are some of the postcard finds um, that I found. And just to show you the others. Goodness, I haven't even got them out of the plastic yet. But I love music, so um, this is one that I found. It's teaching little fingers to play, and um, it's like a little music book, and you can see all the weathering and, and the color, and it's got a little bit of, you know, torn pages and, and whatnot. So they're in their plastic, and it might be a glare, but I'm trying to keep them a little organized until I put them away. This one is from Holland, and it's a piano piano solo. Um, you can see the beautiful windmill and the poppies, or tulips, that is. I'm sorry, the tulips. And I just loved it. I just had to have it. Um, beautiful, beautiful music. Um, and this one is Old Soul Mule, My Sunshine. Neapolitan song. So there's old music here. And as you can see, all the uh, music on the back. Yeah. And then this one is My Wonderful Island of Dreams. Yeah. This is a ballerina dance. And it's almost like a blue uh, color to that. Reunion in Vienna. I love some of the titles of these. They were just, I think that's what draw me, drew me to this one was the title <laughs> and the beautiful picture on front. Yeah, very vintage. And this one. Yes, sir, that's my baby. Look at that girl. Woo! I loved it this one. I think I just I couldn't pass her up. Very beautiful. And the last one I found, um, this is for me and my gal. And this is Judy Garland. Loved it. One of my favorites. Okay everyone, I just want to say thank you for joining me today. And um, you know, leave your thoughts below, little comments. Let me know what you think about what I found. And um, 
and I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for um, subscribing and becoming uh, a friend. All right, everybody have a good day. Bye-bye.